Dear students, now we are going to discuss small signal analysis of common emitter amplifier with unbypassed emitter resistor. For that we can consider a common emitter amplifier with voltage divider biasing circuit. In this circuit, Vs represents voltage signal source, Rs is the source resistance. The coupling capacitors are mainly used to provide DC isolation. Okay, R1, R2 and RE resistors are used to provide the proper DC biasing to the transistor to get the maximum gain. Okay, so next RC is the collector resistor. We can get the output across this collector resistor. RE is the emitter resistor. It is also known as unbypassed resistor because the bypass capacitor is not connected in parallel with this emitter resistor to bypass the current signal. Hence, it is called as unbypassed resistor. Do you all understand this one? So, the major advantages of this unbypassed resistor are given here. When this emitter resistor is unbypassed by this emitter capacitor, the input resistance is far greater than the source resistance. So here the source resistance it is in connected in series with this source signal right. So we have to ensure that the source resistance is always smaller than the input resistance. Here the input resistance includes the combination of R1, R2 and RE. Okay. So whenever this emitter resistor is unbypassed then the input resistance value is far greater than that source resistance thereby reducing the loading effect. Loading effect means the actual input voltages obtained at the transistor side. Okay. So here if Ri is far greater than Rs the voltage gain is less dependent on current gain. Next we are going to draw the AC equivalent circuit. For that we have to follow certain steps. So first we have to remove the DC effect of the supply voltage VCC by grounding it. So there is no VCC supply voltage here because it is grounded. Next the capacitors are short circuited. The voltage signal source in series with the source resistance. Here the R1 and R2 resistors are in parallel. Correct? So here we can combine these two resistors as a single element as R1 parallel with R2. So next emitter resistance and then the collector resistance. So in the next step we are going to replace this transistor with its equivalent hybrid pi circuit. Okay. Next small signal equivalent circuit for common emitter amplifier with unbypassed emitter resistor. So in this one Vs is the source voltage in series with the source resistance. R1 and R2 are combined together as a single element R1 in parallel with R2. Then the transistor is replaced with its equivalent pi model with the parameters R pi, beta, I, B and then the emitter resistor. The last one is collector resistor. So in this one R pi represents the small signal internal base emitter resistance. Here beta is the current gain, IB is the base current. So here equivalent circuit is used with its current source. Okay. So then this VI represents the input voltage between base and emitter. V pi is the voltage across this R pi. We can take the output across this RC. The input resistance of the amplifier is represented as Ri. That is the overall input resistance. This Ri does represents the subdivision of this input resistance between these two point. Okay, it includes R pi and R e. So this can be obtained by using the formula Vi divided by Ib. So Ri does is nothing but what Vi that is the voltage across these two points divided by IB. This Ri is nothing but it includes this R1 parallel with R2 and then parallel with this Ri dash. Do you understand this relation? So
So that's what given here. Next, we are going to analyze the characteristics of CE amplifier using this small signal model. The first parameter is input resistance Ri. Ri is equal to R1 parallel with R2 in parallel with Ri dash. So here Ri dash is nothing but the ratio of input voltage divided by the base current that is the input current. Correct. Next we are going to find out this Vi value. For that we can use KVL that is Kirchhoff's voltage law to this base emitter low. Okay, so in this one we can apply the rule here. If you are going to apply KVL in this loop, what will happen? VI that is the voltage rise at this point. So we can say this VI is equal to the voltage drop across this R pi and the voltage drop across this R E, right? So VI is equal to R pi into I B, correct? So next one is what? I E into R E. So that is the KVL equation for this loop. Okay. So in this one, this IE is nothing but what? IE is nothing but the sum of IB and IC. This IC is equal to what? IC is equal to beta into IB. So we can replace this emitter current with the value IB plus beta into IB. Do you all understand this concept? That's what given here. So in this one, Apply KVL to the base emitter loop, then we can get VI is equal to IB R pi plus IB RE plus beta IB RE. So from this we can take this IB RE as a common one. Then we can write IB R pi okay, plus IB RE into 1 plus beta. So IB is common, then we can take it outside and move this IB to the left hand side. So it becomes VI by IB that is nothing but RI dash. Okay. So here VI by IB is equal to R pi plus 1 plus beta into RE. So this VI by IB is nothing but RI dash that is equal to R pi plus 1 plus beta into RE. The total input resistance is equal to R1 parallel with R2 parallel with RI dash. Okay. So next we are going to analyze the voltage gain of this CE amplifier. Voltage gain is defined as the ratio of output voltage to the source voltage. So this can also be written as VO by VI into VI by VS. Okay. For our simplification. So next we are going to find out what is VO, what is VI, what is VS. So VS is the source signal and here VI is the input to this base emitter circuit and VO means output voltage. We can take this output voltage across this RC. So what is the current flowing through this part? So we can say VO is equal to IC into RC. This IC is nothing but what? The current source is beta into IB. Here the direction is downwards. Okay. So here we can mention that value as minus beta IB into RC. That is the output voltage. Okay. So next we are going to get the value of this VI. So we can get this VI in two terms. One is VI is equal to IB into RI dash. So the total RI dash value is here. So whatever base current is flowing through this RI dash that is called VI. So VI is equal to what? IB multiplied with this RI dash. Where this Ri dash is nothing but R pi plus 1 plus beta into Re. Next we are going to get the relation between Vi and Vs using voltage divider rule at the input side. So here we can get this Vi from this Vs using voltage divider rule. So Vi is equal to what here? The total voltage Vs multiplied with Ri divided by Ri plus Res. Do you all understand this one? So here we can write VI is equal to what? RI divided by RI plus RS into VS. Then we can move this VS to this left hand side that is VI by VS. Now we are going to substitute all these values in this AV formula. Okay. Here the voltage gain AV is equal to VO by VS that is equal to VO by VI into VI by VS. 
So here VO value is minus beta IB into RC. VI value is IB into RI dash. Here VI by VS is RI by RI plus RS. Okay. Then we have to simplify this term. We can get AV is equal to minus beta RC by RI dash into RI by RI plus RS. So here we can substitute this Ri dash value as R pi plus 1 plus beta into Re. Okay. So here we are using unbypassed emitter resistor. So due to the unbypassed emitter resistor, the input resistance value is far greater than the source resistance. And also 1 plus beta into Re is also far greater than R pi. So we can simply neglect this R pi value. And here this ratio Ri by Ri plus Res this is also negligibly small. So we can simply neglect these two values. Then this voltage gain becomes minus beta Rc by 1 plus beta into Re. So here this beta value is far greater than this one. So we can simply ignore this one. Then it is approximately equal to minus beta Rc by beta Re. Then we can get, and get the voltage gain is equal to minus Rc by Re. Then the voltage gain is less dependent on the current gain beta than the CE amplifier with bypassed.